What's going on YouTube? Ed the Kid 51 here. Um, I'm down in the uh, art studio, as my wonderful wife likes to call it. Um, I uh, just want to say thank you to everybody that uh, commented on the last video about uh, the panel. Um, thank you very much. Knowledge much needed. Information much needed. Um, that's the great thing about YouTube and being able to do this with everybody. Um, you know, everybody's got uh, info and everybody's, you know, everybody's out to help everybody, which is dope. It's awesome. It's great. Um, so just a really short, quick video, little update. Uh, I started masking this off and they realized, wait, let me make a quick video of this. Um, so I scuffed, well, I, I, I sanded the panel down, um, reshot the base coat, reshot the candy, I put a couple of more layers of the candy on there, I don't know if the camera's really picking this up, the lighting in the basement isn't that great, it's decent for me, but as far as the camera is concerned, it's really not that good, oh, how's that? So it's a little darker. I put about five coats of the uh, candy root beer on there. Um, so, you know, I figured I'd put it on a little heavy, make it a little darker. Um, and then I did what uh, uh, Mr. Jess Hogan um, had said to do, which is uh, use a regular clear instead of the, uh, the any coat clear, the SG100. Um, so that's what I did. Uh, I did that last night. Uh, it's funny thing is I actually did it before he even actually left the comment. Um, I guess great minds think alike. <laughs> um, granted, yes, I am a rookie, but uh, that's pretty much where I'm at. Just getting ready to mask it. And I figured, wait, let me uh, let me do a quick video of this. So I'm gonna mask this up. I'm gonna get my drawing uh, that's the original this is the uh, copy that I made that I'm actually gonna use to transfer on there using the transfer paper um, and then uh, ever so gently cut it out it's my first time doing this so hopefully I do a good job at it. Um, I wanted to show you guys something really quick. Today was a shitty day weather-wise. So uh, therefore at work, um, when the weather ra rains pretty bad out, we don't um, work in the sewer. Um, yes, I am a New York City sewer worker. Um, but uh, we don't really, we don't work when the flow is heavy due to rain. So, uh, pretty much sat in the office on the computer all freaking day. Shh, don't tell nobody. Um, so I just want to show you guys a bunch of stuff that I kind of found. Um, a lot of you guys know, some of you guys may know that I'm dabbling, not dabbling, but I'm really trying to get into this custom paint thing. And I'm really trying to get into uh, custom airbrushing also. So I was just surfing the web looking up some stuff as far as airbrushing, and I found... Uh, I just typed into Google airbrush stencils and it uh, it led me to this website um, matter of fact I don't actually remember the website oh here it goes actually it's actually on the paper but um, let me to this website on this website this guy his name is Chuck Chuck uh, ba Bauman I don't want I don't want to mess the guy's name up I'm sorry um, there, I'll show you. That's the guy's name right there. So I typed in stencils, airbrush stencils on uh, Google, and it let me, you know, gave me that website there. And uh, this guy has free download, well, not download, you can copy them, uh, save them to your computer, to your hard drive. Uh, pictures or these are actual pictures of stencils 
airbrush stencils that he uses. Um, the guy's a well-known airbrush artist. I don't know him very well. I've seen him on YouTube a couple of times. It's several different templates and stencils for flames and um, it says free flame template but um, I've seen a bunch of other airbrushed artists use them for other things um, so on his website it explains that you can take these templates and trace them onto some sort of hard plastic or something to that effect and uh, basically have your own stencil instead of spending 50, 60, 70, 80 dollars on um, uh, excuse me my son is uh, sleeping and I have the uh, monitor there uh, he must be uh, dreaming moving around anyway so you can take these and and uh, cut them out and trace them onto a hard plastic and you'll have your own templates instead of spending seventy eighty dollars on these damn stencils they're pretty expensive um, so as you see there's several of them uh, here I actually printed out a few of my own I actually then I got curious and started surfing through Google images for stencils and printed out a bunch of stencils so I'm gonna go ahead and go pick me up some hard plastic um, you know, got some cool you know, stuff to trace out on some make me some templates and get to practice in on some airbrushing yeah, cool black widow I thought that was kinda cool this reminded me of uh, uh, 388 Bandit with the uh, the soldier garage um, here's a cool one yeah, just picked up a couple of them sugar skull I thought that was cool because I, I have a unfinished sugar skull tattoo there that I have to uh, get finished soon <clears throat> and then I printed these out but then they got kind of cut off yeah, I made some of them a little larger. But anyway, so that's that. I figured I just wanted to show you guys that. Um, and, uh, yeah, oh, there goes my hood. Um, so, yeah, all right, back onto this. Let me uh, get going on this. Um, at least get the uh, picture traced onto that. And uh, then I can start. Uh trying to do some airbrushing hopefully it all works out the uh, airbrush there that I have um, this isn't, I mean I don't know much about airbrushing but I don't know I don't think it me personally I don't think it works very good but hey Vegas can't be choosers anyway alright guys talk to you later what's up YouTube what's going on Ed the Kid 51 here um, just giving you guys a real short uh, another short video um, I'm gonna add this one on to the video I did last night which is also kinda short a um, little bit of progress and also uh, a mail call um, so I guess we'll start with the mail call uh, most of you guys have already gotten this but uh, from uh, Mr. Greg Porter um so obviously all you guys know what that what it is awesome sticker thank you very much Greg I appreciate it it's awesome I also want to say that uh signed man 1200 I believe great work great quote you know awesome stuff man um you know as we all know Greg uh sends a letter uh, with all his uh, stickers so here goes the one he sent me um, it says uh, Ed man it's been fun seeing you blast into the YouTube scene uh, your 
your go after it attitude is showing guys how you have to approach these types of total re restoration projects GP thank you very much Greg I appreciate that um, I don't know it's you guys it's the it's the Greg Porters the VW Darren's the my friend Pete um, Rick fix uh, Tommy Shu um, you know uh, it's all you guys you know I, there's pl plenty of other names out there that I just are slipping through my head you know the 388 uh, bandit um, who else uh, there's so many you know it's it's the YouTube the garage whole to me it's a it's a newfound family you know um, it's a family outside of my family you know my family being my wife and my son uh, the YouTube garage is my family I, I I really look up to a lot of you guys I look up to all you guys um, it's crazy how you know we've become friends um, through the computer and through video and you know we can chat and help each other out and ask questions and all types of things like that through the computer it's great it's awesome you know you know I can't wait till next year to May in May um, to meet all you guys or as many many as you guys as I can um, you know, shake hands, you know, give hugs, meet the, fam you know, meet your families if they're there. Uh, it means a lot to me, you know, I'm, I'm a young dude, 27 years old, um, you know, I'm first generation in my family into this stuff, you know, nobody in my family, uh, built cars or painted cars or, you know, shot candies or, let alone know what any of that stuff is, you know, um, I have nobody in my family that's into this stuff, I got a couple of uncles that ride Harleys and stuff, but they just get on and go, you know, their bikes go to shops when shit needs to be repaired, um, you know, so, uh, you know, to be able to share this and have a good time and enjoy it and talk and yap and watch everybody's projects come along is dope, it's awesome, I love it, it, it it's, it's, you know, it's half of my dream come true. Um, what I mean by half is, you know, I can actually, I have somebody to share this. You know, I, I'm sure I bore my wife to death with talking about this stuff and yapping her ears off about this part or this paint or this, you know, spray gun or this tool or, you know, that car or, you know, that air ride suspension and that car being slammed to the ground and, you know, chop channeled section, you know, Metal fabrication, body filler. I'm sure I bore her to fuck and death with that stuff, you know. And it's great to actually be able to vent and talk and show people what I do. You know, I've never, you know, other than my wife, I've never really had anybody to really show the work that I've done on my car and stuff. Yeah, I got, you know, friends in my car club and stuff. But like I told you guys before, you know, the guys in my car club are they're older greasers you know and they've been there they've done that so for them it's like yeah whatever you you know you've done it um you know uh but other than you know i i i'm able to actually show this and i, I love to be able to show somebody what i've done i've i've never in my life other than other than my wife ever had somebody say good job so it's it, it you know whatever it may sound cheesy, it may sound corny, um, but if you don't like it, you know, hit the thumbs down and kiss my ass. <laughs> Just talking from the heart, you know, uh, it means a lot to me to have guys like like VW Darren, like Greg Porter, like Tommy Shu, um, HPR, uh, you know, um, Slow SRT, uh, Turbo Cobra, The Rick Fix. Um, Cecil, uh, 388, uh, 388 Bandit, um, Yukon Rock, uh, Muddy Water 6, um, the Raz D. Fometa, um, who else? GTS Designs. Yeah, all, you know, all these guys actually tell me, you know, or watch, you know, take the time out to watch a video of mine and actually sit there and tell me, good job. I like that. 
you know, I like the way that's coming out or, you know, good point or whatever the case may be. To me, that means a lot to me. And that's what makes this YouTube thing so much more fun for me. Um, so this, this means a lot. And this, this is going to get hung up on the side of the shelf there. Um, I just got to, I got to get another one of those magnet clips. And I'm going to hang that up there. This is going to go right along with it until I uh, get to that uh, door skin that I have. I have a door skin that I picked up from a body shop. Um, it's all beat up. They replaced it. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit of body work to it, fix it up. Gives me the opportunity to, to work on some body work. Um, and I'm going to shoot it, a color. I don't know. I haven't picked anything yet. But I'm going to, I don't know, base coat it with something cool. Maybe throw a candy on there or something. Maybe throw a little design or something in the background. Um, maybe practice some, uh, some low rider, uh, fades and, um, tape offs and stuff like that, patterns and shit. And on top of all that, uh, maybe I, I, I think what I'm going to do is that, throw, do a little design in the background and on, on top of that door skin, hang it up down here in the studio or upstairs in the shop, one of the two, and, uh, put everybody's stickers on it. Um, so, but yeah. That means a lot to me, you know, it, that's what makes YouTube so much more fun for me. Um, you know, just, it's, it's just an awesome thing. It's great. I love it. You know, you know, I, I, I feel that this is a, a calling, so to speak, you know, um, I got the opportunity of all this, all this, uh, paint and these paint guns and all these tools and stuff that I've acquired, you know, the, the um, light table, you know, all, all, all the House of Color stuff there, you know, all these base coats, you know, primers, you know, uh, you know, all the paint guns, you know, you know, the, even the, uh, Extremely old airbrushes. Yeah, is that better? There you go. Now you guys can see that. You know, all the paint guns, the airbrushes, you know, the uh, wrenches, parts for the airbrush, stencils, um, the light table, uh, you know. Uh, all this, all this stuff for me is fell in my lap, and to have the combination of all this stuff fall in my lap, plus, um, plus um, the YouTube garage being the combination of the two, I really feel that you know this has always been a dream of mine. I've always, um, I've always wanted to get into custom cars and build custom cars and work in a shop or open up a shop, own my own shop. Um, I've always wanted to be able to work with my hands and show the world what I can do. I mean, I, I got a crazy mental case for it. You know, like I, I think of shit all the time, you know, um, looking at custom car magazines and you know, looking at a you know particular car and saying, okay, this is the way this person built it, but this is the way I would, and just totally recreating this car in, in my mind. You know, even bikes. I, you know, I'm not I'm not a big bike person, um, but even still, you know, uh, crazy concepts in my head for choppers and fucking custom tanks and you know rake and stretch and you know different shit like that um just something i love something i enjoy and the fact to have all this um the opportunity to be able to get all this for free well for a hundred bucks i paid a hundred bucks for some dollies and hammers and stuff um you know and be able to actually get all this stuff and be able to learn from the youtube garage not having anybody ever taught me anything in this stuff is just great. 
anyway, I know I'm rambling on. Sorry. Um, that just really touched me, and that, that was awesome. Thank you very much, Greg Porter. I appreciate that. Uh, sorry to get all cheesy on you guys. But, all right. I was showing you guys in the previous video the uh, panel that I painted, the uh, House of Color Candy Root Beer. Um, so, here it is, all masked off. Um, here goes my artwork on it. That's this. Uh, it's going to be my YouTube garage logo, maybe one day my shop logo. Um, I have written across here, Mad Customs, um, my son's initials, uh, Miguel Anthony De La Cruz, um, so Mad Customs, um, my artwork. I don't like the lettering so much, it looked cool here, but I don't know, I don't dig it here, it's too small, it's got to go bigger, I'm thinking of maybe arching it and stuff, so for now I'm just going to do this, but what I have right now, um, I did it not too long ago, but... <clears throat> I'll have to finish it either later on tonight or in the morning. But the outline of the car is cut out using the X-Acto knife. I'm going to peel that off. I'm going to try to get that airbrush to work. Um, and ghost in a very light white just to get the general outline of the custom um, supposed to be a supposed to be a combination like a tattoo you know tattoo rose with a cartoonish picture of my car um, but I'm gonna ghost in that white lay this template back on it and start making some cuts for everything else and ghost in that peel everything off all together and then uh, do some detail or try to do some detail with the car then when that's done I'll um, I'll lay the masking back on and then make the cut for the rose and then do the rose um, you know do the rows and then I'm gonna I want to rework this but for now I'm gonna do this I think I may leave that for now and come back to it um, what I'm thinking is now this goes out to uh, sign, sign man 1200 if I sent you this picture uh, I guess via email um, could we make this into a sticker I know I, I sent you a message on your video that you put up earlier um, and you having on back to me with your email but when you do this would be the picture that I would send you is this something that we could do well I don't know maybe about some about this size some about the same size as this more or less or maybe a little more rectangleish um, could we do this and then maybe you can come up with a better font um, I kind of wanted to, I freehanded this so it does it's not all that great but it's my version of tattoo script so to speak um, so if there's any way that we could we could take this picture um, and I'm cool with just the single color I mean I don't know you would tell me what you can or can't do um, but I think it would be pretty cool if we can leave put the sticker I guess with like a black black background um, or now that I think about it it would actually kind of be kind of cool if we did it just like this uh, now that I think about it I just realized this oh, oh run away exact when I hold on one second now that I think about it if we could kind of do it how you did Greg's where it's the two pieces that would be kind of dope um, this a sticker all of its own instead of one big square I don't know maybe that's more intricate I don't know you tell me what you think but what if we could do something like that sticker of just the car and the rose on its own and then the lettering kinda of like that you know this would maybe be the car and then the lettering um, but if you can come up with a font like this you know it's 
tattoo script or something close to it, that'd be dope. You know, and let me know price wise and stuff, and uh, we can get that going. You know, I I, I want to jump in on the I want to jump on the bandwagon of the stickers and stuff. You know, um, and get get them going. It's pretty dope. I I like it. It's pretty cool. Um, uh, you know, so I want to jump on that bandwagon. Um, you know, keep the trend going, so to speak. Um, what else is on my mind? Oh, I bought this the other day. Um, I'm going to give this a try uh, on my rose. Um, I'm going to give this a try on the rose. It may not work. It may not come out nice uh, with the candy root beer, but we'll give it a try. What I think I'm going to try to do is on here, all in all, at the end of the day, or at the end of the build, my car is going to be blue. Let me get the light back on here. My 51 is going to be blue. So, on this drawing, the sticker I'm going to leave like this. I like that. It gives it a little detail. It's less color. Um, you know, it'll probably be less work for um, Sideman 12, uh, 1200. But uh, this, I'm gonna, this is gonna, the car's gonna go blue. Maybe a lighter blue roof. Um, I-51, when it's done, it's gonna be a, a dark blue. I'm kind of liking the uh, the blue that uh, VW Darren did on that Hyundai. I kind of like that, that metallic. That came out pretty badass. I like the way that looks. And it's right along the ballpark of what I was thinking. So I'm thinking of doing that metallic dark blue body. And right along here on my 51 where the drip rails are, um, they will eventually get shaved once I chop the roof. But uh, where the drip rails are from that line over uh, most guys they, they two tone from the belt line I want to keep it a little different so I'm going to do just the roof and being that I'm eliminating the drip rail on my 51 I'm gonna the roof itself is going to be the roof itself is going to be a low rider pattern um, fades tape offs um, a lot of patterns uh, you know uh, you know faded patterns and a lot of you know different blues and silvers on the roof so on this picture in particular sorry to get off topic but in this picture dark blue and right along right up here a light blue, maybe. Maybe I keep things simple. Um, this is really my first time airbrushing, so I'm probably just talking out of my fucking ass and probably doing more of the artwork with my mind than I actually am with doing any of the art. Um, so I'm sure I'm just talking out of my ass, but that's just the type of person I am. I have that go for the gold attitude. Um, so uh, I, I, you know, I don't like taking baby steps. You know, fuck it. I like to go right for the top right for the gold if I get knocked down and lose I know why um, so that's pretty much where it's gonna go uh, so this is all gonna get airbrushed in the rose now and back to what I originally was getting at before I went off on a fucking tangent the rose I'm gonna shoot in this red shadows with the black the leaves green now the rose and the red I'm gonna try to throw this in there Come on. There you go. I'm going to try this. House of Color. Tangerine Candy. And to give the rose a cool, flamey, tattoo-y effect. Um, like I said, I like to go for the gold. So, 
with that said, that's what I'm gonna. That's my attempt going with this. Um, then we'll see if uh, I'll leave the letters for last, and maybe Sign Man 1200 can uh, come up with better font. If he comes up, I'm sure he can, and I'm sure he will, and I'm sure it's gonna come out fucking amazing. So when he comes up with that fucking amazing uh, script or tattooy flowy letters, I'm going to take that um, and use it on here. Um, that's the goal. That's the plan. So, Sandman1200, I know you're a busy man. When you can, shoot me uh, your email so I can send you that picture and um, we can get things rolling on that. Uh, that's that. That's pretty much where I'm at. I'm going to go upstairs now. My wife uh, is cooking dinner. I'm going to go get some grub. My sister and my niece are also coming over tonight for dinner. So, And my niece is sleeping over. So I am, I am uh, Mr. Babysitter tonight because my sister and her boyfriend are going out. Um,